So today we're going to be having a talk about the spin. So first of all, what a spin is, and then we'll go flying and have a look at it. Most importantly, what we want to get out of this is how we recover from it. So to help me out, I've got my nice brass Spitfire here. So first of all, we'll just refresh what the stall is, and that will become apparent in a minute. So stall, we increase the angle of attack like so until the critical angle of attack, which is about 16 degrees. That means that the airflow over the top surface of the aerofoil separates and no longer sufficient to generate lift and we stall. So why is that significant to a spin? Well, a spin essentially is where one wing stalls before the other. So what's key to causing a spin is yaw. So if we're yawing at the point of stall, that means that one wing is traveling faster than the other. So in this case, we're yawing this way. It's gonna be this wing. That means that the slower wing will stall first. So at the point of stall, there it goes, and we spin. So it's important to remember, as we've seen, that the spin is a stalled condition. So that means the speed will be low, and we're not generating any lift or very little lift. So how do we recover from that? So we've got a simple acronym which is P-A-R-E or PAR and that's power, ailerons, rudder and elevator. So we'll talk through where that all comes in. So first of all power. So if we've got any power on we want to get rid of it. We've got the spinning propeller at the front that's going to create gyroscopic forces. That's just going to make the spin a lot worse. So power all the way back to idle. Ailerons, we want to keep central. So as we've seen, the spin can be exacerbated by yaw. So secondary effect of roll is yaw. So if we keep our ailerons nice and central, that's going to stop us inadvertently adding any yaw that we don't really want. Rudder, so we want to add full opposite rudder away from the direction of the spin. That's going to stop the spinning motion. It may not be instantaneous, it may take a few rotations, just got to stick with it. And when we stop spinning, we'll be in a stalled condition. So what we're going to do is, the last one was E for elevator, we're going to lower the nose to get the airplane flying again and then we're going to climb away. Chances are that we're probably going to be low to the ground when we spin in a real situation so we need to get that climb going as quickly as possible. So just as a recap P-A-R-E so power, ailerons, rudder and elevator. So what we're going to do now is we'll go flying so you'll see me in the robin. Um, so what I'm going to do is the power's already closed, aileron central, full opposite rudder, and then lower the nose to get rid of the stall. So the robin does have a different stall recovery technique. So we're going to be using the standard one that I've described. It does have an alternate that can be used. And that goes to show that it's so important that you read the POH for your aircraft. Be familiar with your aircraft and make sure you use the spin recovery procedures for your specific aircraft. They may well be different. Most importantly, if you're going to do spinning, make sure you go with an instructor for obvious reasons. So let's go flying and have a look at the spin. Good afternoon, I'm at 4 zero. Map 4 zero, copper tube information, good afternoon, you'll read the 5 pass message. Read 5 also, I'm at 4 zero, Robin 216, outside Hangar 7, request uh, information for local flight. I'm at 4 zero, roger, taxi 2, Alpha 1, via the Alpha taxi lane, runway 05, right hand circuit, QH is 1036.
I'm at 40, uh, lined up, so 5. At 40, runway 05, take off at your discretion. Wind 0607 knots. Taking off, so 5, I'm at 40. have a look at now is a bit of spinning. So we're up at 4,000 feet and we're going to have a look at spin recovery. So halo checks are complete and we're clear all round. We have a good look out, so we're going to do 290 degree turns. Go, so looking out all the time. There we go, and we'll go the other way. There we go. So I know where I am. So what we're going to do is when we go in the spin, and then we're going to recover. So what we're going to do for that is a standard spin recovery. So we're going to go in the spin, and then we're going to recover. So what we're going to do for that is a standard spin recovery. So the Robin does have a different spin recovery, which is stick pulling back. However, we can do the standard as well, which has been cleared on the So what we're going to do is enter the spin. Did you copy that one? Hey, fine, I'm at Hey, okay, so we're just letting the aircraft slow. And it's going to be a spin round to the left. Okay, so in we go. So we're going to spin. There we go, we'll do a few rotations, and to recover, we're going to go full opposite rudder, stick forward, break the stall, and we're going to gently pull out, watching that we don't overstress the aircraft. And there we go. So we'll climb back up. So as before, we're going to slow up, clearing turns done, and again we're going to go to the left. Okay, so in we go. So we're looking low airspeed. There we go, so let's recover. Full opposite rudder. Keep the stick forward. And taking care not to overstress the aeroplane, we'll climb on out. RP in, and away we go. So there we go, we saw our spin recovery there. So just as a recap, what I was doing there with power off spinning was ailerons neutral, full opposite rudder, lower the nose to break the stall and climb away. You saw me point out that the speed's low because it's a stall condition. Uh, very different to a spiral descent or spiral dive which we'll look at in another video. So if we had a power on spin, it's P-A-R-E, so par. Power, ailerons, rudder and elevator. And that's the spin. So if you want to have a go at spinning, why not give us a call and book in with an instructor?